People ask me, why do you do it? What makes you want to fly and share it with the world? And if I answer them honestly, I would say, I don't know. It's just something you're born with. My childhood is filled with memories on Navy bases. The sound, the smell, and the feel of an afterburner on takeoff. I always knew I wanted to be a pilot, but missed out on having that relationship with But what if you were given a chance at that? What if you were handed a gift of digitized 8mm and cockpit voice recordings? I'm not actually, I gotta take them now. Go ahead, Taylor. We're gonna head out as soon as we get around. Naval Aviator and OG YouTuber. I knew I had to put this puzzle together and knew exactly who could help me do it. Commander Steve Cobra Queen, U.S. Navy retired, Top Gun instructor, and the guy that talked my old man into signing up. Come along on this multi-part series as we dive into the Duck Chronicles and try to tell the stories that the OG YouTuber never got to. Well, Fort Top Gun was created in 1969. The kill ratio we'd been experienced was like two to one. Mm -hmm. We were winning and shooting two of them down to one of our own losses. It, we changed it 12 to one. Mm -hmm. yeah. Totally changed. Yeah. And that's because the way tactics were, tactics were taught prior to that, uh, the hierarchy was always afraid to let you to do ACM. Mm -hmm. It was dangerous. You know, no, it's not dangerous if you do it right. Mm -hmm. And so by doing it dissimilar, you take the ego out of it. You take two F4s and go against each other, it's going to get to an ego match. I can do this a little bit better than you. Mm -hmm. Somebody's, someone's going to get hurt. So by going dissimilar and saying what we're really trying to do is to get you to implement this style of tactics that we're teaching, where we're t letting you to be free thinkers instead of doing it by rote the mm -hmm. way the Russians do, you will do better. And, and basically, from what I understand, it came down to minimize your weakness of your airplane, right? The F-4 had a lot of power. It could go high, but it was not good slow. It had a terrible turning radius, whereas the MiGs had the advantage on you. And by minimizing those, you maximized your strengths, mm -hmm. which in this case was the power of the Phantom. And by going vertical, yeah. we could accelerate up and down better than they could. Mm -hmm. And while they could turn inside of us, you don't get into a turning match right, with them. exactly. And you use your wingman. You go up and down, and as they start to turn, you call the wingman in and mm -hmm. let yeah. him get the belly shot. Yeah. That's also part of the communication parts that you and I talked about earlier, where you talk on the radios with each other, and you keep each other informed as what you're doing, where you're going, mm -hmm. what you want him to do. Mm -hmm. And as well as looking out for each other, check each yeah. other at 6 o'clock yeah. and making sure you're clear. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not actually I gonna take them now. Go ahead, Taylor. Uh, we're gonna head out uh, as soon as we get around. Roger, uh, we'll take the victim. Sure. Mr. Top Gun 11, your vector is 280 for the bogey. Uh, 280. Our is no good back here because of the goddamn turbine modulation. This is the okay. aircraft is split up into singles. I'm painting about, looks like about uh, 15 aircraft out here. They just put us in amongst the other. We'll sort it out. And he's moving right along. They're uh, in a diamond uh, spearhead formation, one on each uh, end of his uh, five and seven o'clock. Okay, tally ho, Gary, right on the nose between us, real high, Chrysler, 35 foul. Okay, I don't have him yet. Okay, I lost him. They're way up there, way, way up there. Okay, by now they're over the top of us. Uh, Look at that, they're two above us, real high. I lost them. Let's bring it starboard. I did that, you got it. I've got it. So you had a student come through, same last name as me, right? <laughs> might yes, have been, we did. Might have been your fault that he was in the Navy, huh? <laughs> So Probably was, I had a little bit to do with it, but I think he already had made up his mind. Yeah. He wanted yeah. to do something else anyway. Yeah. But uh, yeah, and uh, I was delighted to see him come because actually his skipper was the previous Top Gun CO. Oh, okay. And uh, the one that Frosty relieved. And uh, so I was glad to see him come in. That means that somebody 
recognized his skills. Mm -hmm. So you're doing, you know, an hour or so of classroom work, not quite every day, but every other day, and then you know, half a day of flying. Mm -hmm. Uh, even though they're short flights, it's usually you know, an hour long. Mm, pretty intense. Because yeah. you're eating yeah. up the gas real yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah, a lot of G's, right? <laughs> My neck size grew an inch and a half <laughs> over that four years. Getting squatting or, or building well, the muscle, you're, right? You're always yeah. doing this, yeah. and yeah. you're always under G's, and you're moving your head. Yeah. Somehow I got two teeth. Oh, look at that. We went out together in T38. Oh, look at that right there. When I took him on Top Gun, and then he went with Cunningham. Uh, Randy? Yes, yeah, Randy. The Randy? Randy. You're kidding. Yeah, Randy and I were in Top Gun together. We were in, wow. Randy was in VF-96 with me. Yeah, I knew that. And he was. He and I went to Top Gun same time. Mm. And so, this is the Top Gun. We took him out for flights. Well, the classrooms were just your regular squadron spaces that we'd take to an old ready room and convert it into a classroom, paneled it, put uh, tables in with chairs. Uh, we were using old uh, grease paint uh, overlays as our teaching utensils. We didn't have fancy rear screen projection devices. We didn't have PowerPoint in those days. Uh, we used a lot of chalkboard instructions and we'd go fly and reconstruct our training scenarios on kneeboard cards and come back and listen to tape recorders and try to reconstruct the, the flight of the day. We had the ground training every day and it was like half days. We'd fly half days and, and go ground school half days. And it was from everything from aerodynamics to weapon systems to threat weapon systems. This was the first air combat maneuvering range of its kind anywhere in the world. In those days, uh, the cathode ray tubes had nothing but black and white. That's all we had. We had TV screens, uh, you know, mostly about like 15 inch size. And you'd have two or three of them in front of you. We didn't have the big rear view projection large screens. They were just small screens. Uh, we would show, you could show a pilot's view, which was a uh, simulation of a pilot's view, where you'd look out and see what the pilot, that there was an airplane in front of him. You would have what was we called the God's eye view. It was looking straight down on top of the flight as if you were very high in the air looking down on everything that flew. So you had the capability to really reconstruct what was going on in air combat as we were doing it on the range. So it used to be the old saying is he who gets to the bar first or who yells the loudest at the bar wins the fight. Uh, it took that part of it out of there. You could no longer just claim I had the first shot. It was all a recording, so it showed exactly where you were at any given time so you knew were you in the envelope, were you out of the envelope, was your shot good or was it bad. So it took all the storytelling out of it and brought it down. It was a very good teaching tool. Well, we generally started out as a one-on-one. -on -one. We would take uh, the students and each one would go out with one of them with one of the instructors in, a, in an adversary aircraft and we just teach them the basic maneuvering against how you would survive or beat up on an enemy aircraft. And then you would let them go to section tactics. You'd put them out together and make sure they're communicating effectively. And you put them out against one adversary aircraft. Uh, we do a couple of flights of that. Then we build it up to two on two. And then after two on two, it goes two V4, and four V2, until one of the graduations exercises, more like an alpha strike, it would be many versus many. A lot of airplanes in the air. And many times over San Clemente, it would look like the Battle of Britain. Uh, it would get very exciting and dicey out there. We're radar contact at about 11 o'clock this mile. Okay. And tally on you, Gary. I think I got you. Okay, let's head for the target. Okay, got the strike group behind us, 5 o'clock low, coming in. Roger. Let's cover the group. I've lost you, Garrett. I got you. I'm at uh, 835. Okay. Let's go out here to the east and then cross turn and come back at the strike. Roger that. Got an F4. Looks like it's coming up on us. Okay, the whole world behind us at 4 o'clock. Okay, Gary, deep at our floor, there's a big gaggle. Down the hill, back to my four o'clock, yeah, four and two eight fours. Oh, heads up at our nine o'clock, Gary, two bogeys. Pick it up. Roger, got him. Let's cross turn, I'm going high. Got to take it low. And they're going in on the strike group, let's go. Okay, I got one in the 10 o'clock, low on the clouds, that's all I got. Yeah. 
If you got him, I'm going back. Okay. Six is clear. No sign of Gary yet. Call your call again. They don't have you yet. Gotta call him yet. Okay, we got a bogey low at seven, no sound, no threat quite yet. Call your tally again. We're oh, Jerry. Eight o'clock on that bogey. Okay? You're, I'm your nine o'clock, low. Yeah, I got you. Okay, I'm going to on this bogey. Put it right up, straight up. Look at that, I'm going up. Your six is clear, buddy. Clear, I'm coming to the top. I'm coming back over the top. Okay, A4 out there, 10, that's all I got. Okay, coming out your 9 low, Gary. A4, my 9 o'clock, roll it over the top. S4, high at 10. Gary, bring up port. Hey, I'm coming, port. Man, I just is Ted, how do you read? Hey, line is this. Hey, I'm behind three F8s right now. Uh, and I got Tim Till on the radio. Okay, Gary, your six is clear. I got up at the bay party. Okay, I'm high to three, two. Did you let the bogey just cross underneath me? No, I didn't see him. Check your other side. He's coming in a cover turn. If you got me, I'm running out south. Negative. Okay, we're all right, check your coming. That's your three. Okay, there's a third fifth floor in here somewhere. We don't know where you are. Okay, I gotta argue with myself. I don't know where you guys are either. Yeah, I'm going back to the left. I've got a nice mate. I'm not dead. Nine. Three o'clock, dude, Pete. Okay, okay, Gary, put your backside port. But, uh, you can't bring up in the air right now. That's right, come back, hard port. I'm in on the margin of just six. Hey, we got one to ten, that's all we got. Okay, you got that bogey right underneath you there? I've got him. Yep, still, I'm in. Okay, I'll stay high. I do that. Okay, I've got a bogey with my five o'clock. I've got the bridge double hard and low. Sally Ho. And Sally Ho are barked in deep trouble. I'm Gator Sally Ho. You're in trouble. Okay, we're coming back to it for you. Oh, you're back there. Yeah, because I want you to go to it. I hit you there, Gary. Coming back. <laughs> F4 just off the island. Coming back down south. Okay, guard, break it, stop it. Make it clear, guys. Uh, I'm going to smile, but I'm not going to be stopped. I'm going to be stopped. I'm going to be stopped. How are you there? Okay, bring it back down to the right. Yeah, we got all kinds of guys in trouble right now. Yeah, go get my dog back. Okay, and I'm oh, into a shot. Okay. That's my six. It's clear. Okay. And no shot. Okay. And there's another shot. Okay, hard pull it down. Okay, he switched, bring him down, hard starboard, Vark pitching up. Okay, he's tough to hit him. Okay, so he's down at 8 o'clock, no threat. Way no sound. I know it, my harness is locked, I can't okay, see it. Okay, no threat. He's giving off, he's not even coming out to us. Okay. Oh, I just lost him in the room. And your six is real clear, Gary. Yeah? Okay, where are you? Okay, Bravo, fourth. I'm right above you. Alex? Contact Los Angeles Center. I'm starting starboard. Okay, 4, 3.30. Roger that, got him belly up. <laughs> All right, guys, I told you by 5 o'clock. Oh, have you seen that? Yeah. Okay, 
Okay, we reach it, but we got our own problem right now. <laughs> I do that. <laughs> okay, Gary, there's one right behind me. I'm gonna go shoot him. And I'm approaching Bingo. I'm 4.0. <laughs> Gary, you got Nobody behind us right now. Okay. And no shot. Okay, let's get out. Yeah, you have me still. Back to you. Okay, we got you. We're going to have to bug out. Roger that. Okay, Fox, two on the blue bogey. Behind the F4 climber. Yeah, look at East, Gary. You got me, Gary? Thanks. Okay, where is he? I was at your 9 o'clock. Behind that, right, 8 4 behind you. Well, I got gotcha. you. Hey, I back there, no shot yet. F8. He's been shot. Yeah. Let's let him take your sit. Tally Ho, it's an F8, no shot. Got him yet? Oh, shit, yeah. Okay, we're drawing your right side here. Your fuel. I know it. Okay. Kill two from one. And I'll just tell you, see anybody behind us? Roger that, I'll just disengage if this guy's sick. Could just roll around and shoot him. He's all left. No, don't do that, we don't have the fuel. Damn! He's the bogey of my tree. Gary, call your posse okay. and head east. Okay, 2 is 10 o'clock high. A little bit high, just above the rise. Hello, Mad Duck. All right, all right, we're one. Yep. He's rocking your wings right now. Is that good? Starboard. All right, take it starboard if you hear me. Come to starboard. Okay, we're steady zero nine. Roger, everybody's bingo at this time. How's your steak? Yeah, about the same, lad. Roger, you on a steer this time? Sir? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and RTB so I can get back for the brief. See you later. Miramar information and changed information. Juliet Miramar is IFR. About the fucking